great to see so many new people out here tonight. Uh, we've actually had to turn people away. Um, I'm expecting to go over to type some more stragglers coming in tonight. My name is Anita Shratland, and I'm the chair of the Danforth East Community Association, um, or as we call ourselves, DECA. We are co-presenting this evening with Wood Green Community Services and Metcalf Foundation. And I'm thrilled to be introducing Jim Dyer on all of our behalf who has very generously donated his time to, to be here and speak with us tonight. As you may know, actually, before I get into that, I was told to convey some really important information. The bathrooms <laughs> are <laughs> upstairs, through the main doors, and to the left, I think. Is that right? And that's the ladies. Yeah. That's the ladies. <laughs> Tweet, the tweet, bathroom, hashtag. Oh, the hashtag DACA, great. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. We use the And I'm just saying, I'm staff Okay, okay. They're like staff As you may know, Jim's had a very extensive career in community building. He's worked on all sides, but he's probably most well known for his role as uh, as director of Seattle's first director as of Seattle's neighborhood department of neighborhood. Sorry, that's it. That's a mouthful. First director of Seattle Department of Neighborhood, where he served for 14 years. There, he was responsible for establishing a number of innovative programs and turn the, turn the department into a real model for, for community planning and development by neighbors. He's also the author of a book called Neighbor Power. He hasn't asked me to plug his book, but, but I'm going to. <laughs> if you're at all interested in government and citizens working together to, to build community, it's, it's an inspirational read. It's a great read with a lot of great ideas in it. When I first heard of Jim Dyers through, through my good friend Catherine Porter, a longtime DECA member, a board member, it was a real eye opener. Some of you may have read her interview with Jim about a year ago in the Toronto Star. I'm, I'm relatively new to this whole community organizing thing, and Jim's ideas around building neighborhood power, I had never even thought about it in that sense, was really intrigued me. As part of DECA, I'm very quick to talk about our achievements. We have a great weekly farmer's market, an annual arts fair, pop-up shops that are aimed at, at, um, at, aimed at uh, eliminating our vacant storefronts. But I can also talk about our challenges. Navigating city regulations, a lack of funds, a need for more volunteers. In fact, we're, we're, taking, we're taking advantage of the fact that we have you all captive here by, by handing out some, uh, some volunteer sign-up forms. Uh, if you haven't seen them yet, I think you will soon. Imagine many of you in the audience are in similar positions in your respective organizations. Or you're here because you want to help. You want, you want to help others who are. The idea of better mobilizing our assets and the assets in our community and building power from the bottom up is, in, is an idea that is clearly intriguing, by, judging by the numbers in this room, to many of us. I look forward to tonight's discussion. Please join me in welcoming Jim Dyer. 